Hey you guys, it's your girl Shottown Blue here with another installment of the A-List Alert coming on behalf of the Key S Expressions Publishing slash Multimedia Division. We are doing big things in the Midwest, you guys. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Go below this video, hit that notification bell. That way you know when I do new uploads. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. You are a part of the 188,000K views in the U.S. as well as overseas. Okay, let's get started. We're talking about Trey Songs. As you know, uh, TMZ has uh, made it known that he has uh, turned himself in because he decided last month to uh, assault two people. Now, the gist of it is one of the assailants, one of the victims uh, of his assault was an actual female at a bowling alley in Los Angeles. So I found the article. As you know, I love to read uh, on my channel to get you guys the 411 on what's going on in urban America. So let me get that started for you guys. I did have a little music for you. This is, this is Urban Traffic and it is by uh, Bodo Voss Music Production. So thank you so much for the track. Here is the article. Here is the article that I found from TMZ. Trey Songs was voluntarily, voluntarily turned himself in to NYC cops after allegedly punching two people uh, a couple of months ago. And then TMC has learned the law enforcement sources tell TMZ TS was busted at the end of November for the alleged incident. We're told he's accused of striking two people in the face while they were all at a bowling alley back in October. And one of the alleged victims was hospitalized. Trey turned himself in at the NYC uh, PD station a few weeks later and were told he was booked, given a desk appearance ticket for assault and released. As we previously reported, Trey allegedly punched a woman in the face while inside a bowling alley bathroom. The new info is uh, the new info is there's a second alleged uh, victim. A guy who claims Trey punched him in the eye were told he refused medical treatment. Wow. Now, Trey Songs, one of my favorite Trey Songs was when he did his collabo with Tank. And then also he did a collabo with Chris Brown. Now, on that Tank song, When We F, you know, that's a cool song uh, that I really enjoyed. And then also he did the Rock You. F you back to sleep with Chris Brown uh, on that remix also featured was Tory Lanez as well. So, and then the continuation of this track is still no word on a motive for the alleged uh, beatdown. And then Trey's attorney, Trey's attorney, Trey's attorney. Oh my goodness. Trey's attorney. My music is coming up when it shouldn't. Okay. Trey's attorney, Mitch Schuster uh, tells TMZ, and this is a quote allegedly for all this, uh, we have been proactively communicating with the NY law enforcement, the DA, and all those involved. While we will respectfully and proactively work through all of the appropriate channels, we are confident that Trey will be fully cleared of any wrongdoing. Here's why I'm bringing up these articles. Because there's a stigma in the entertainment arena that says... Just because we've reached a certain plateau in our careers, we can treat the general public any way that we want to. That is absurd. He does not have a right in his position as an artist to take all of his frustrations out on the general public. The reason why I say that this is important to point out is because these two men are of power and prestige. So with that comes you feeling as if you can dictate what the rest of the community does when it comes to how they operate. Now, here's the thing with me. If I work, I work a regular nine to five and in my entertainment uh, genre or my way of unwinding is listening to a Trey Songs track. That's my prerogative. If I see Trey Songs socializing somewhere i am being a fan want to go and approach him and get maybe an autograph or a picture or, so that people can believe that we've actually had this interaction 
So if you're constantly doing that on the regular, why are you complaining? Why are you taking your frustrations out on the same people who have put you there? We have the power as the consumer to say, this is the way that we want our entertainment to be presented to us. They have to, they have to get it in their minds that there is a certain way that you need to present yourself to the general public so that you can be effective. And so there will be some type of meeting of the minds. And then on top of that, you put your hands on a female. With all that women go through on a regular, childbirth, uh, discrimination in the workplace, the last thing we need to do is pile on your disrespect of women. And then you want to turn around and want us to open up our purses and wallets to you and purchase your music and your streaming services and watch your videos on YouTube. That is absurd. You have to respect the ones that are making sure that you're in the situation that you're in. It's not enough to just get on an award show and say, I thank all my fans. If you don't respect the same people that put you in the position in the first place, then how can you expect them to spend money with you? It makes a difference. It's going to hit your pockets eventually. And there's no excuse for you to put your hands on a female and then turn around and say all the females of the world pay me money for my streaming. That's not fair at all. So do you believe that it was right for Trey Songs to put his hands on a female? Go below this video right here and tell me your take on this particular story like share and subscribe over everything that you guys are seeing i am really really uh disappointed in his behavior towards the general public because they are the ones that work hard every day to put him where he is and for him to put his hands on a female oh that's not acceptable behavior that's not acceptable behavior all the way around so next person I want to talk about is Mr. Harvey Weinstein. Yes, Mr. Harvey Weinstein. This is why I'm bringing him up. I want to be a film producer. That's something that's been on my heart for years to do. And I'm looking at how his power and prestige and notoriety has really affected his craft as an artist. He has totally and utterly forgot the main purpose of him getting into this business in the first place. It is not for you to have women at your beck and call. From 1970 up until 2017, October, you have he has been abusing women. And the kicker is that when you look at this, when you look him up on Wikipedia and you try to get the information on him, it lists him as an all-American producer, but at the tail end of that is a registered sex offender. That is something that is so crazy and it's just, it's deplorable. It's deplorable. 80 different accusations from women who have said that he has either sexually harassed them or RA. Let that sink in for a minute. When are we as women going to be respected in the world? When are we going to be respected in the world? It makes no sense to me. So I found the New York Times article on this. This is going to give you guys an update on his court case. He got charged with a felony at first in February. It was February 28th. He got charged with a felony. There were seven felonies against him, and he only got charged with either five of those. Let me look, let me look that up. Let me see. So allegedly he was charged with, and I actually wrote it down. Give me one second. Because I wrote it down on here what he was charged with. He got seven, it was seven charges against him. No, it was, I'm sorry. I misquote allegedly. He had five felonies against him, but he only got charged with two of those five felonies. So that is what Mr. Weinstein was all about. One of my favorite movies from him, it was Pulp Fiction, which was done in 1994. That was with Samuel L. Jackson and, uh, and John Travolta. That was in 1994. So here is uh, the article that I found giving us updates on his court case. Now, Harvey Weinstein, and this is from the New York Times, Harvey Weinstein convicted of sex crimes in Los Angeles. So it says the former Hollywood uh, producer was found guilty of R.A., one woman, but the jury found him not guilty or could not decide on other charges. And this is dated for December 19th, 2022. Los Angeles jury finds Harvey Weinstein guilty of R.A. in a mixed verdict. 
So Los Angeles, Harvey Weinstein wants a, a film colossal who wilded and in, in amused power in Hollywood found guilty on Monday of rape RA and sexually and SA an actress in 2013, but jurors found uh, him not guilty of one charge and could not decide on three other counts. The verdict delivered by jurors in Los Angeles was the second SC conviction for Mr. Weinstein, age 70, who was found guilty nearly three years ago of SA and RA in New York. It served as a backstop for keeping Mr. Weinstein in prison, given the New York's highest court has agreed to review his conviction there. One of Harvey Weinstein's accusers, Lauren Young, who was identified as Jane Doe II during the uh, trial, applauded the conviction in a statement, but said she was relieved the trial was finally over. Quote from her, I can finally put this traumatic memory to rest, said Young, who also testified in Weinstein's New York trial in 2020. I am embracing my inner voice and I will never be silent again. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so a string of accusations in 2017 against the former movie producer propelled, propelled the hashtag Me Too movement into a global phenomenon, holding powerful men across entertainment and government accountable for decades of SA uh, misconduct and inciting a worldwide uprising by women sharing their own experiences of SA harassment and assault. Because of some of the uh, complicated dynamics of the verdict and the state's sentencing laws, Mr. Weinstein faces the possibility of 18 to 24 years behind bars in California, not a maximum of life in prison. Uh, he would serve uh, that time after completing his sentence in New York, where he still has 21 years left in prison unless he, his appeal is successful. Mr. Weinstein faced seven counts in Los Angeles, allegedly two RAs and five of SAs, stemming from incidences involving four women from 2004 to 2013. Jurors de deliberated for more than nine days, and the length of their decisions reflected the difficulty they had in reaching anonymity on some of the charges. They agreed that Mr. Weinstein was guilty of three counts, R R A, uh, forcible, or as, OS, and SP, uh, involving an Italian actress who testified that he attacked her in a hotel room in 2013. Uh, they also acquitted Mr. Weinstein of one count of SB involving a massage therapist. But the jurors could not decide on two counts related to accusations made by Jennifer Siebel uh, Newsom, a documentary filmmaker and the wife of Governor Gavin Newsom of California, nor could they agree on one count stemming from Lauren Young, a model and screenwriter who said she was uh, AD by Mr. Weinstein in his hotel room. The courtroom, mostly packed with lawyers and reporters, was silenced as the clerk read the complicated verdict. At one point, a cell phone went off and Mr. Weinstein shot a look across the gallery, searching for the source. He slumped a bit in his chair upon hearing the guilty verdicts on the first three counts and he showed no visible reaction on the other four. Prosecutors will now have to decide whether to retry the three counts on which the jury was deadlocked. Gloria Allred, the lawyer of Miss Young, said after the verdict that her client was 100% committed to testifying against, again, if she was asked to do so. Miss Siebel Newsom said after the verdict that she was confident that Mr. Weinstein would never be released. He will spend the rest of his life behind bars where he belongs, quote from her, 
uh, in a statement. Harvey Weinstein is a serial PR. And what he did was R. Uh, the mixed verdict followed weeks of tearful, often graphic testimony by the four accusers and by four other women who are allowed under state law to testify about similar experiences they said they had with Mr. Weinstein in order to establish a pattern of behavior. A fifth accuser dropped out of the case. Prosecutors and defense lawyers made their closing arguments more than two weeks ago as days passed without a verdict, frustrations grew behind the scenes among those who had hoped Mr. Weinstein would be convicted in short order. Throughout the de deliberations, the jurors asked the question and for testimony to be read back and the specific of their queries were withheld by Judge Lisa B. Lynch of the Los Angeles Superior Court in a rare move to shield courtroom information from the public. In testimony, women described conduct that for many has become familiar in the five years since the Times reported accusations of Mr. Weinstein's behavior. Prosecutors told jurors that Mr. Weinstein was a serial predator with a finely uh, tuned strategy for preying on vulnerable women. During her closing argument, Marlene Martinez, the deputy district attorney, showed an image of a wolf pouncing and menacing metal trap. There is no question that Mr. Weinstein was a predator. She said, and like all predators, he had a method. Mr. Weinstein, a titan of the film industry, would first show interest in a younger woman's career, she said. Then he would arrange to meet the woman under the guidance of helping her uh, professionally. Prosecutors said Mr. Weinstein would typically insist the woman meet in his suite where he would isolate and assault her. Confined within those walls, victims were not able to run from his hulking mass, she said. Lawyers for Mr. Weinstein sought to portray his accusers as opportunists who had uh, consensual S with the film producer as a means of trying to get ahead in Hollywood. Now, wait a minute. 80 accusations and all of them are jealous and envious and all they want to do is use him to get ahead career-wise. 80, 80 reports? Come on. Okay, so uh, also only later embarrassed by the encounters in light of the somatic shift in the industry did they say they had been harmed, the lawyer said. In his closing argument uh, for the defense, one lawyer, Alan Jackson, said the case came down to whether the jurors trusted the women. Take my word for it. Five words that sum up the entirety of the prosecution's case, Mr. Jackson said. Everything else was smoke and mirrors. He acknowledged the accuser's emotional distress as real, but said it was the result of hindsight, not the reality of their experience with the transitional nature of sex in Hollywood. I don't know how to say it more gentle than this, but fury does not make fact, he said. Tears do not make truth. Uh, it signified something of a departure from the defense's tenor earlier in the trial. In cross-examinations, the lawyers had aggressively questioned the women about discrepancies in their accounts. Mark Worksman, another of Mr. Weinstein's lawyers, didn't hesitate to use blunt even derogatory language in describing the accusers. At one point, he said, Miss Siebel uh, Newsom was just another bimbo who slept with Harvey Weinstein to get ahead. Elicit gasps. Uh, Miss Siebel Newsom said she was R by Mr. Weinstein in 2005 in his Beverly Hills hotel room after meeting up with him to discuss her career. She said she had tried to ignore the incident for years uh, as a way of putting away my sadness, my fear, and my trauma so I could move forward with my life. Her two days of testimony drew the largest crowds. Months-long trial at the downtown Los Angeles courtroom. Governor Newsom was in the building doing his wife's appearance, but not in the courtroom. I can only imagine how, how devastating this is 
for her whole entire family to actually listen to this and try to endure exactly what it is that she's going through. I, I would have a hard time sitting in the courtroom too. In her statement after the verdict, Ms. Siebel Newsom criticized the defense lawyers for their approach to the case. Her quote, Throughout the trial, Weinstein's lawyers used sexism, misogyny, and bullying tactics to intimidate, demean, and ridicule us survivors. She said, this trial was a, a stark reminder that we as a society have work to do. To all survivors out there, she says, I see you, I hear you, and I stand with you. Prosecutors and Mr. Weinstein's defense team walked briskly out of the courtroom past reporters. Paul Thompson, a deputy district attorney, uh, declined to comment because of the case because the case was still open. Lawyers are scheduled to return on Tuesday for more arguments related to special findings uh, of some of the counts. George uh, Gascon, the district attorney of Los Angeles County, in a statement praised the women for testifying for their uh, extraordinary bravery. And said that he hoped uh, the partial verdicts would bring at least some measure of justice to the victims. Still, he expressed some disappointment at the outcome. They deserve better than what the system has given them, he said of the women. Hashtag the Me Too uh, supporters were hoping for another conviction against Mr. Weinstein in part to give greater confidence to women who they say have long been silenced by a power structure that dismisses their that dismisses their claims while the accusations against Mr. Weinstein accelerated its growth the hashtag me too movement uh, was initially founded by Tariana Burke in 2006 to seek healing for black women who had suffered SA Lawyers who have uh, represented other SA survivors said uh, that through the jury, though the jury had not reached a decision on three of the seven counts, uh, any, guilty verdict, any guilty verdict against Mr. Weinstein was significant. Hung juries can be complex, said Michelle Simpson Tugel, an attorney who has represented victims of SA. The guilty verdict, she added, shows that the defense old fashioned strategy of blaming and shaming the victims can backfire in the post hashtag me too era supporters said before the trial that the future of the movement did not hinge on any single legal fight while the results of closely watched celebrity trials such as the legal duel between the actors amber heard and johnny depp that riveted the internet this spring might seem like uh, bare meters. Supporters point to deeper structural changes that hashtag Me Too has inspired. Me Too as a movement and an inspiration really has never been about one single individual. No matter how powerful, said Fatima Goss Graves, the president and chief executive of the National Women's Law Center. This movement doesn't begin and end with him. So you guys, to me, my commentary is they both deserve to be facing legal ramifications for their behaviors out in the public. We have the power as consumers and the finances that we generate through. And I don't care if you're making McDonald's income or six figures. Your money carries weight in this economy. Three point nine trillion dollar of the consumer spending population is a reflection on us putting that money back into taxes, infrastructures, our school systems, every aspect. So we carry weight by the dollars that we spend on entertainment. And the entertainment industry has a right to respect the general public when we are the ones that are making sure that they have what they have in the industry that they represent. So go below this video on either stories, you guys, and let me know what your deal is regarding Trey Songs and uh, Harvey Weinstein. Do you believe that they have been faced with enough jail time based on their crimes? 
So go below this video, let me know, like, share, and subscribe on everything that you guys see here and look out for. Every woman on the planet deserves respect. And remember, ladies, if you are a part of the Curve Nation, are we little girls? Hell no. So do we tap on doors? Hell no. If you are a part of the Curve Nation, ladies, remember to kick that bitch off the hinges. Love you guys. Right before I leave, you guys, I want to let you in on what I'm doing. If you go over to TikTok, I'm on TikTok. Hi to my 100 subscribers over there on TikTok. It's called Maximum Overload Expo 3. Go over there and you will see all of my throwbacks for all the social media that I've had over the years. I've posted up pictures, past, present, and future over there having a good time. That is like my museum to show my a contribution to media over there. So go out there and support everybody's arena of entertainment. And also, I want to thank you guys for your major, major support at the end of another season, 2022. I've learned so much as a content creator. And there are some new things, new things that I have up my sleeve for 2023. I want to thank everybody for their support. The last new person that was on social media that supported me it's Jovi Beauty. Thank you so much, girl, for everything. Her commentary is always good. Uh, go get that commentary. It's out there, too, by I am Kiva. Go out there and support everybody's arena of entertainment, you guys. See you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe. See you next time in the next video. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.